So I want to take this one step further and start making changes to the data, uh, transforming it. For example, one of the things I might want to do, if I look at the, let's see, the water distribution lines, I can see all of the different um, attributes that exist on that data. Well, maybe I want to re rename some of those attributes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this one, which says year underscore insta. I'm just going to rename that to insulation underscore date, for example. I, I could do any changes like that. So that's one of the things I might want to do. I might also want to open up this dialog, and if I click on the uh, user attributes tab, um, I can see a full list of all of those different attributes. So I can change the names in here and change the types of them as well. So we're very flexible about what we let you create on the output of this. It's very simple to do. The other thing I can do on here is click on this option, which is called a fan out. And a fan out, I, I really love this functionality. It takes your data and it sort of spreads it out into a different layer or table or whatever for each different value of an attribute. Um, and I find it's very useful um, when I'm working with uh, CAD data because if I got all my CAD data is on the same layer and I want to spread it out into multiple output layers, I can do that with a fan out. And in this case, what I'm going to do is fan out by diameter. And by doing that, what I'm going to get, because I'm writing to GeoDatabase, I'm going to get a separate um, GeoDatabase table for every different diameter pipeline. And right. it's very simple to do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, if, so if we were working with cable, for example, you could you could easily fan out by cable type, and then maybe I could put all your fiber on one layer and all your that's copper right. on another yep. layer, stuff like that. Yeah. Or, or I could do an installation year and say, let's yeah, each different year's worth of data goes to a different layer, or even a different yeah. geodatabase itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is just change this setting here that says. I want to overwrite the existing geodatabase. I, what we just created before, I'm going to overwrite it completely now. Um, if I didn't do that, I'd just be adding more and more data to it, appending it. So I'm just going to run that one as well. And that, again, that should just take a few seconds. And while it's running, I'm going to fire up ArcGIS. Uh, I closed ArcGIS, by the way, just so it doesn't lock the, uh, the geodatabase I'm trying to write to. Uh, that will be a bit of a... Uh, a problem if I was trying to write to a, a geodatabase that was already open. Mm -hmm. So here we go, and again I'll just browse to that data. Whoops, it was in the output folder. And there we go. So you can see we've got a lot more tables yeah. this time when, when your display is catching up. And you can see we've got a different table for each uh, diameter. So for the 8 inch pipelines, we have that layer, and for the 6 inch, we have a different layer, and, mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if I query one of these again, we'll see that the uh, the um, attribute got changed to installation underscore date rather than being year insta. Yeah. So now we, we've got, well, we've gone beyond the basic translation. We've actually manipulated the data. We've spread it out. We've renamed attributes and done all sorts of things like that.